Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to my show. In today's episode, we are going to learn some interesting facts about the Venus flytrap from Morgan, Sienna, and Sarah. Thanks for that warm welcome, Ellen. Now, let's go to the Venus flytrap's habitat. This here is the Venus flytrap's habitat. The Venus flytrap's habitat is in the savannas pine, which is associated with constant moisture in sandy soils. You can find these cool little traps in bogs, swamps, and other nitrogen-poor environments. Because the, the plant is in nitrogen-poor soil, it has no choice but to catch bugs and spiders, which will supplement its nutrition. As many of you guys know, the Venus flytrap gets its name by the trap attracting insects with its bright pigment and then consuming the bugs. The Venus flytraps are from the plantae phylum. The traps are endemic to North America and are found in southeastern Carolina and are making their way to the northeastern South Carolina. The pollination for the Venus flytrap is not yet understood, but is most likely cross-pollination or self-pollination. The flytrap produces flowers from mid-May to the beginning of June, and the seeds could be dispersed in water or by birds that accidentally pick up the seeds in the muddy habitat. The Venus flytrap also contains plumbogin that has the ability to fight HIV, which may help fight cancers and tumors and herpes in the future. The Venus flytrap also raises body te temperature and gives one a sense of well-being. The Venus flytrap can actually get quite big. The leaf blade can go up to the length of 12 centimeters and the tra trap length can go up to 4 centimeters. Some related species to the Venus flytrap are the sundew, waterwheel, and the linear-leaved sundew. Besides the Venus flytrap looking a little bit scary and have a big bite that can kill flies and sometimes even cut humans, the Venus flytrap is actually a very useful plant and can help us with medical problems in the near future. Wow, ladies, it sure looks like you know a lot about the Venus flytrap. I'm so grateful that it has the ability to help with diseases, which can help us down the road. Thanks, Ellen. We are too. The Venus flytrap is a very powerful plant. The plant's also pretty beautiful. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for giving us some interesting facts on the Venus flytraps. You're welcome, Ellen. Thank you so much for having us. No worries, lady. It was a pleasure to have you, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, Ellen. See you next time.